The exterior is modern and almost futuristic. While designing the form of the hatchback, a striking profile emerged that sets it apart from other vehicles. The front features the brand typical hexagonal grille and very flat headlights. So starting from the front, for instance, we have active air flaps. They can open and close and again uh, optimize the airflow uh, by doing so. All the way until the rear of the car with the spoiler, for instance, again optimizing the airflow over the car. The interior features environmentally friendly materials, which provide an elegant and harmonious ambience. There is also a state-of-the-art info center with a 7-inch TFT screen. This is where you'll find all of the important information, such as speed, fuel level, charging status and driving mode display. To begin with, in the second half of this year, the Ionic will be offered as an all-electric or hybrid version, with a plug-in hybrid version to follow later on. The iX35 fuel cell is also on show in Geneva. The world's first production hydrogen vehicle has already been delivered 250 times in Europe. Hyundai continue to take a leading role in fuel cell development. The end of March sees special passion models of the i10, i20 and i30 rolling into dealers. Hyundai is celebrating the 25th anniversary of being in the German market and the fact that the brand is once again the main sponsor of the European Football Championship. Hyundai has even done something with its SUVs. The Santa Fe has been updated and now offers not just custom looks, but also the most advanced driver assistance and safety systems. No matter where you look at Hyundai, everything points to an interesting and promising future. I'm particularly excited to see the Ionic deliver everything on the road.